Okay, so if you're looking for a way to memorize this big chart here, um, the easy way, then you're in the right spot. I'm just going to share with you how to memorize this uh, easier, especially during an exam or, you know, if you just want to impress people that you memorize this big chart. But what is this chart anyway? This is basically the aldohexosis and um, up to the... Wait, the aldosis up to the aldohexosis, which are monosaccharides, um, and they are in the D family form. If it says D, it just basically says that the OH group on the glyceraldehyde is on the right side. So this OH group is on the right, so that means it's a D family. Um, anyway, let's get started. So I figured out a way to minimize this whole chart into just something this small, okay? It'll be a lot easier to memorize this than that big thing over here. And, uh, so how did I memorize this? This is basically the chiral carbons here. So as you can see, the OH is on the right side. And here, glyceraldehyde, the very top one is also on the right side right there. And then as you go lower, so you elongate the glyceraldehyde and you gain another chiral carbon on top of this. And the OH group here is on the right side. And here, the OH group is on the left side. So as you can see, there's that pattern right here. So H and then an OH on the right side. Here the OH is on the left side. Now you elongate that one more time. You go down and you elongate erythros, you get uh, ribose and arabinose and then you get four wait three chiral carbons here and the same pattern shows up on the very top carbons and as you can see here the OH is on the right side and the OH is on the left side and on three O's it's the same thing as you elongate three O's you get that pattern where the OH here is on the right side and then the OH here is on the left side now in the very and the very last row you can see that um, the same pattern still shows up. Basically, if you elongate ribose, let's focus on ribose right here. So if you uh, elongate that, that means adding another chiral carbon on top of these three. So these three is just carried down right here. But then the fourth one right here, the very top one, is either the OH group is on the right side, or here in altros, the OH group is on the left side. Same pattern here as you do arabinose, and then you can see the same thing here going on. Um, OH on the right side, OH is on the left side, and here on silos, um, OH is on the right side here on gulose, and on idos, the OH is on the left side, and here on galactose, the OH is on the right side, Talos is on the left side. Now, why is that important? Because if you're asked to draw the Fisher projection of Eidos, you need to draw it exactly the way it is right here. So as the OH is here, OH is here, OH is here, OH is here. Now, how are you going to figure that out if you don't memorize this whole thing? So I'm suggesting that you just memorize those top chiral carbons because you will be able to build these aldohexoses using your information from the previous... Um, previous monosaccharides that it was made from. Uh, I'm going to show you how I do it with this chart and hopefully it'll help you memorize the whole thing easier. Now if you want to form let's say idos here, as you can see on the table it's under silos. Silos is under 3-os and 3-os is un under glyceraldehyde. So that gives you an idea of which, uh, what do you call this? which monosaccharides are, what do you call this, are needed to form idos. So you need to start from glyceraldehyde uh, into 3-os and then silos and then idos. Okay. So keep in mind these are all just the top chiral carbons, okay? And let's build, uh, what do you call it? So let's build idos. So first, you need to remember that all of the monosaccharides here on the chart has a CH2OH at the very end. That is the very last carbon on each of the monosaccharides here. And that's what you are going to start with if you're going to build a uh, one of these ones here on this chart. So let's put CH2OH here. 
and then build it up. So we want to form idols. Let's start with glyceraldehyde as it is the very base um, chiral carbon. So you got H and an OH. Elongate that. It becomes three O's here with an OH on the left side. Elongate it further. It becomes silos here with the OH on the right side. And then you end up with idos here with the OH on the left side again. Now let's check our work, but um, also one thing to note is that the very top carbon is an aldehyde, okay? Um, I'm just doing it the way the chart shows it, but its actual form will be a C, double man O, and an H. Okay, that's what it's supposed to be to look like. Okay, so let's check our work. I'm trying to form idos, D idos. And then let's see what I have here. So as you can see, it is exactly the same here. OH on the left side, OH on the right side on the second one, OH on the left side here, OH here, and then OH here on the end. So that's it. Let's form another one just to make sure you got it too. <laughs> okay. So let's do let's do one here. Let's do outros. So altros starts with glyceraldehyde, erythros, ribose, and then right here, altros. So let's build it from glyceraldehyde again. And then take note of the very last carbon with the CH2OH form. So glyceraldehyde is H there and then an OH on the right side. Build it up with erythros because you want to build altros. So erythros has the OH group on the right side again. And then ribose, OH group on the right side again. And then altros, OH group on the left side this time. Oh, hold on. Okay, fine, right there, it's H O. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Okay, just ignore that spot. So basically an aldehyde on the top, OH on the left here. Let's check. Let's see, where's that? Altro, so OH is on the left. Oh, just on the left, and then the rest of the three uh, chiral carbons has it on the right side. And that's it. You got your D altros right here. Easy. So all you have to remember is that there is this pattern on top, on the very top chiral carbons, where the HOH flips into OHH on the other side. And then the same pattern goes down. And then just figure out a way to memorize the names, and then you're good to go. All you have to remember is that it just builds up from glyceraldehyde. And that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helps you.